Lucky Bell here, and the reason why you're watching this is because I'm very important. And by very important, I mean that you probably stumbled on this video searching for cat videos. Either way, you're gonna know who I am because I'm gonna show you five cool things at NAM 2015. So get ready, and you're welcome in advance. I have our Daddario Accessories new headstock clip-on tuner. Now this has a 360 degree swivel and is an improvement over our old clip-on tuner that we had. When you flip it up, it turns on, and when you flip it down, it turns off. And it can clip easily onto any headstock. This is called PSPX. Now, we have an array of sizes and sounds. What also makes it so attractive is that it's a lower price point at the PSTA price level. We've also incorporated a few different alloy configurations. We're using brass, and we're also using configuration of aluminum as well. We have here a 14-inch Swiss Flanzer crash. What makes this symbol so nice also is the fact that you can easily use it for a hand symbol as well. Then we have an array of hi-hats. We have a 10-inch hi-hat, and this consists of a brass bottom with a bronze top. Last but not least, we have an aluminum-based bell called the Pure Bell. It's the first time Pisces using aluminum. I'm Doug from King Zex, and this is my new bass amp. It's called Doug 1000. It's a thousand watts, it has two channels. We have a low end. October 1st, 2014, we introduced Reason 8, the latest version of a software that's uh, been around now since 2001. This is music production software. One of the problems with large programs that do a lot is that they get any in our way. We can't find the window or the view or we don't know what we're looking at all the time. And Reason has worked very hard to solve that. So I can go through these windows, I can look at the tracks like this. I can look at our rack of gear like this. So it's either collapsible to your laptop or it's expandable to your studio, but within the software, you never get lost. There's never windows in front of windows. So that's the main thing. When you create a track in Reason, you get an audio track, you get a MIDI track, you get a mixer channel, and you get a rack device automatically. What's new in Reason 8 is a browser that's built right in. I can drag and drop anything I want, audio, MIDI, patches, right into the session while it's playing. I can try things in real time. The other thing we did a year or so ago, introduced rack extensions. Rack extensions are gonna allow you then to have third parties develop devices for the Reason racks. There's something like 250 rack extensions now developed by all kinds of developers. And so we have a tie-in now and a music service called Discover that's gonna allow you to collaborate with everyone or just with yourself. So that's the highlights of Reason. Check it out, you get free download anytime. showcasing our new Hero 4, uh, both the black and silver music edition. Uh, the Hero 4 Silver is the one I have here in my hand, and the coolest part about it is this screen that's actually built into the camera on the back. So you can go and shoot on the silver all the way up to 4K at 15 frames per second. And when you jump up to the black edition, you can actually shoot 4K at 30 frames per second, and 1080 at 120 frames per second, allowing for that super slow-mo, make things look really beautiful and nice. Also with the Hero 4, they're both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi enabled so you're able to connect the camera to your GoPro app. The Hero 4 also um, has improved audio. Uh, the dynamic range has been improved uh, two times the amount from the Hero 3 Plus. 
It's a really great internal microphone. There's also an option if you want to plug in an external microphone here on the side. Lastly, I think most importantly for music, the night capabilities of photo and video for the Hero 4 has also been greatly improved. With the Music Edition, uh, we have various mounts that will attach your camera to your instruments. We have removable adhesive mounts which will attach it right to your guitar without damaging the surface when you take it off. There's also the mic stand mount and there's also a cool clamp mount which can attach to a keyboard or a drum set, um, you know, really allowing to capture all the, the members in the band. Greetings, I'm Nick Bocott with Marshall Amplification. I'm here with my good buddies from the MI, the Musicians Institute. Check this out. This is what Marsh is showing today at the NAMM show. This is a reissue of the famous 1987 launch Silver Jubilee 2555 head. We launched a series of amplifiers all covered in silver with a silver front panel, and this one became legendary. It has a high-low feature here which switches it from pento to triode. It has two foot switchable channels. It also comes with an angle and a straight 4x12 cabinet, both loaded with vintage 30 Celestian speakers. Part of the reason this amp has become so legendary, apart from the tone which you'll hear in a minute with my good friend Lucky here, this very attractive man who looks remarkably like Brad Pitt <laughs> after a really bad car crash. <laughs> Um, surgery, it's all surgery, okay. Surgery, surgery, yeah, it's, it's just yeah. plastic <laughs> surgery. This was used by a gentleman called Saul Hudson, who wears a top hat better known as Slash. Mm -hmm. This was his favorite amp. So, that said, I'm going to hand it over to this very attractive man, and he's going to wow you with his playing prowess. <laughs> So that's it guys, you've seen Lucky's top five products at NAMM 2015 in beautiful Anaheim, California. And I can tell you what, I feel pretty lucky. Well, uh, you literally are lucky. <laughs> Thank you. So guys, I'd like to introduce you to my colleague here, Greg Campfire. He runs the MI's official, official blog, blog yeah. nextlevelnoiseblog.mi.edu. Next Level Noise brings you resources for music performance, technology, business, education, creativity, and more. You'll get practice tips, songwriting advice, gear reviews, and news from today's global music scene. Check it out and subscribe today at blog.mi.edu. You're gonna enjoy it. If you know how to read. I personally do not. It's alright. I'm sure it's there's, good. There's pictures and stuff too. Ha, 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 ha.